All right, so let's go to sector spotlight to check the temperature of some sectors that have been holding up pretty well, and that takes us to energy. I mean, oil's trading around hundred dollars a barrel. Same kind of thing, kind of showing that you know we're not going to see disaster. And obviously, if you have strong oil demand, oil services are the number one is definitely the number one place to go. So quick off, the OIH is up almost six percent in the past week. Can we expect some signs of weakness here at all, or do you think that it can actually stay? have some more juice like the well, spiders. Well, we've been talking about the OHs. It's been a group that held in best during that pull-off from you know the July highs and we've had some nice pivots here if you take a look at the OHs, you will see that from our last buy price which was a right around the 150 when it broke this descending trend line you know you had a retest where you could have bought it again and then this last flag you could have bought it so now it's at a previous point of resistance mm -hmm. which is about uh, 163 so it could pause here a little bit but with some more sideways action and we get a resolution I think that it's gonna go above this 162 and take out the highs here and we've been seeing a lot of stocks in this group already at new highs right. well before the ETF itself. And so let's get to the ones that are actually good and the cheapest that you want to buy. So I want to go to Baker Hughes first. Q2 earnings more than triples, but the, sc the stock closes flat on Monday. What does that mean? Is that a good news didn't move the stock kind of thing or is it a buy the rumor sell the news kind of thing and this makes for a good buying opportunity? Well, if you look at the chart, we need to see where it came from and how close it is to the highs to see if you know it was priced in or if it just needs a bit more time. Right. If you look at Baker Hughes, you know this was your entry. We talked about this entry a few times on the call here around 75.60, and then you know it's still near. It's actually at highs. I think you take that with stride. I just think it needs a little bit more time. I don't think people are chasing new highs, so that earnings was strong. If it could hold this area here and the market gets some resolution, you know, they could get some momentum above this 80, 70 area for new highs. But this stock actually looks really good above all moving averages. And Baker Hughes is actually one of the cheapest and has been lagging the rest of the group of the stocks we're going to talk to. So definitely keep that on your radar. Now, Schlumberger. Yeah. So last week, profits up, you know, 44% from a year ago, you know, two bucks away from, from its 52 week high. But it's up almost 9%, up 8.5% in the last week. So what do you, what do you think about Schlumberger? Well, Slumberger got a nice juice. It just it went on the earnings, which was good. Yeah. That showed okay. healthy action. That showed people weren't really expecting it. So there was a pop there. If you look at the chart, you know it actually had a, a, a nice move. It's near the highs. I'm going to give you a little bit of a macro picture here, so you could see that I will see a trade set up here because you know you're hovering near old highs. It is above that earnings move. If it can go sideways and hold this 94, 94, 70 area, I think we get some momentum above this uh, 95.53. I'm sorry about the wrong price there. So as long as it stays here, it can continue to go. It looks really good. There's still opportunity there. So good for a trade and for an investor as well. Yes, okay. definitely. So let's go to Halliburton. Sort of led the pack on earnings last week. Hit a 52-week high. Is it ready for a breather, though? It's up about 7.8% for the week. It's in that breathing stage. Mm -hmm. We talked about Halliburton as one of the leaders before it made new highs. And now since it's at new highs, sometimes it's hard to enter. Look at the move here. This was one entry yeah. that when it broke this downtrend, here was another one when it broke through the recent high and then held it. And now it's just extending higher. Hopefully you're already invested here. As a trade, it might be difficult. Um, as an investor, I, I think you should hold it or maybe even go out and sell some calls you know, a little bit higher to take in some premium because it could have a rest. It is a bit extended. But this isn't the one to go to right now. Okay, want to go to National Oil of Varco. We just reported earnings this morning of $1.14 a share versus $1.01 a share. Revenues really killed it too, about $3.51 billion versus $3.24 billion. Hit a 52-week high on Friday, but then was down on Monday. A <laughs> little volatile here. Uh, wh what would be your trade today? Let's take a quick look at the chart. I want to see where it is opening right now. It also looks really good. Mm -hmm. You know, coming back to those old highs, we actually went through them. Earnings are out of the way, so sometimes it makes it easier. People are a little, you know, at ease that it's already out and been strong. I, I think you could add to it once it starts getting above, you know, this 83.34. And if it's opening above it, make sure it holds above it for that continuation. So far, it seems like Baker Hughes is your favorite right now, though. Yeah, as far as entries yeah. and, and still opportunity. And really, really fast. I want to go to Weatherford because it's up over 11% for the last week, but it has lagged this group significantly for the year. Also one of the cheapest. Do you like the stock any better? Would, you, would this be a good sort of catch-up play? Well, as the market continues to act well, people look for catch-up plays. And I make fun of these catch-up plays. But and as Weatherford. Market, you made fun of Weather I, Weatherford I did because months. if you see by the chart that I will show you, you will see that it plays catch-up, but it doesn't have the power. But if you're uh, a market timer, you could still get a good percentage move, even if it's not through the highs, but from a lower area. So look at here at Weatherford, WFT. You will see that you know it also, look where these highs were. 
okay, this long downtrend. This was your calculated entry in this stock. This was right around 1950. If you bought it right, you still had a nice percentage. It's still well above all those highs, but it doesn't matter if you had the right entry here. Market stays in, you know, in good shape. Mm -hmm. You could see 2150 to 22, and then maybe this old peak here at around, what is that? It's 2334. So if you had a good entry, some laggards are worth looking. And you'll see, we'll start talking about laggards, you know, or catch-up plays, as long as the market keeps continuing higher because they can give you good entries even if it's not through the highs and the quality or quality the best of the best there's still opportunity as long as the markets keep going higher there's the <laughs> disclaimer all right yes. we'll be right back with more stock picks for today